Hi students and welcome to the Sunny Carter Elementary School Media Center. We are so excited you decided to stop in today and learn a little more about what we have to offer. Whether you are interested in learning more about books and computers or our inviting reading area, there is always lots to do and lots to see in our Media Center. Okay everyone, let's get ready to learn how we can find what we are looking for in the different areas of our Media Center. Within our Media Center, there are several areas that we will learn about today. Let's begin with one of our most abundant resources, books. Among the many, many books we have available, there are five main sections, each offering a different type of book. First, we will learn about our easy books, then move on to fiction, nonfiction, biography, and reference material sections. Pay attention as we discover what each of these sections has to offer. We'll review these again at the end and see if you can help figure out where some of these books belong. This is what is called the easy section. Here, books that consist primarily of picture books are kept. These books are intended for young readers, but can also be a quick fun read for our older readers. The books here may be fictional, meaning they are made up by the author, or nonfiction, meaning they are true stories. Most often, these stories will be made up by the author. Books in the easy section are arranged alphabetically by the author's last name. So, let's say you were looking for a biscuit book. You would need to look in the C section because the author's last name, Capusili, begins with a C. So, as we find our book, there are some important things we need to pay attention to. Here, we can see the call number of our book. Every book in the Media Center has a call number. For this particular book, the call number is ECAP. This is because the book is in the easy section and is written by Alyssa Satin Capusili. Looking for our call number is important for a few reasons. First, it helps us locate our book. It is also important that we pay attention to our call number when books are put back on the shelves. That way, it is in just the right place for the next person to be able to find it. Now let's explore the fiction section. Books in this section contain stories that are not true. They are made up by the author. Usually, fiction books are chapter books and are used by older students. They are often longer stories and contain far fewer pictures than the books we can find in the easy section. Books in the fiction section do share some similarities with those in the easy section. They are arranged in alphabetical order by the author's last name and are not true or made up. In the fiction section, the call number will begin with an F or FIC. This represents the word fiction. Below this section, the first few letters of the author's last name will be displayed, just like we saw with the books in the easy section. Let's compare and see what we have learned so far. Look at these two books. Can you easily tell which is a picture book and which is a fiction book? How can you tell? If you could tell that the picture book was the more colorful book with very few words and pictures taking up most of the page and identify the fiction book as the one with black and white pages and mostly all text, you are correct. Remember, both the easy section and fiction section contain books that are not true have call numbers that use the author's last name to sort them alphabetically on the shelves, but they contain very different stories in both length and age appropriateness. Let's continue on our tour by taking a look at the nonfiction section. Nonfiction books are true and are used to gather information on a particular subject. Unlike the other two categories that we have looked at, Nonfiction books are shelved in numerical order 
by subject or topic. The Dewey Decimal System is used to categorize or organize books in this section by grouping them in sets of 10. To help us easily locate nonfiction books, shelf markers are used to direct our search. For example, if we were looking for a book about some of the famous artwork painted on our school walls, we would look around the middle of the 700 section. 750 is for painting. Don't worry about knowing what each group in the nonfiction section represents. We have a kid-friendly display set up that will help you on your way. Also, don't forget to use the shelf markers. They are a great hint to help you get pointed in the right direction. Now it is time for us to visit the biography section. A biography is a true story of someone's life written by someone else. In this section, we will find stories about presidents and inventors, actors and athletes, and lots more people you have probably heard of. Biographies are housed within the nonfiction section, but are all grouped together with their own call number, 921, in the Dewey Decimal System. Close to our nonfiction section, we come to our reference section. Here, you will find encyclopedias dictionaries, and atlases and globes. These materials are very special and have to be used inside the Media Center. They are not allowed to be checked out, but are for everyone to share. Let's examine what each of these reference materials have to offer. Encyclopedias are books that span many volumes and tell us true facts and information on various subjects. The call number on an encyclopedia, like any book within the reference section, is an R, or the letters R, E, F. Also, you will see that the encyclopedias are numbered and lettered. This information is used not only to keep the books in order, but also to help you find information that is of interest to you. For example, if you are looking for information on dogs, you will look for the volume that had the letter D printed on the spine. Next in our reference collection, we come across our dictionaries. Dictionaries come in all shapes and sizes. There are student dictionaries, pocket dictionaries, and subject-specific dictionaries. No matter which type you pick up, they all have a few things in common. First, Words are arranged in alphabetical order. Also, the words you are looking up will usually be printed in bold with a definition to follow. In some dictionaries, pronunciation guides are used to help you figure out how to correctly say the word. We have several types of dictionaries in our media center. Atlases and globes are also available within our media center. These are useful in looking at different places around the world. An atlas contains a group of maps, often showing different angles or views of an area. A globe is a map that is round and spins. Spin the globe, place your finger on an area to stop the spinning, and see where you've landed. Now imagine you are taking a trip there. What do you see? You can learn a lot about another state or country simply by knowing where it is located. That completes our reference section. Now, let's review. All information found in the reference section is true, also called nonfiction. Encyclopedias, dictionaries, atlases, and globes are all found in our reference section. Reference materials are not allowed to be checked out but are to be used within the Media Center. That completes our tour of the book sections. We have looked at easy books, fiction books, nonfiction books, biographies, and reference materials. But wait, that's not all we have in our Media Center. Let's take a look at some of the other resources we have right here at Sunny Carter. Our Media Center also has seven computer workstations available for student use. We have five computer workstations available for taking accelerated reader tests, 
or creating a project for class and two computer workstations for looking up a book to check out. This area is always lots of fun for students. Once you have selected your book or completed your assignment, there are a few comfy reading areas throughout the Media Center that you'll be able to use. Tables, a couch, and colorful rugs are all places you can spend some free time reading. Be sure to get comfy when reading! Speaking of checking things out, we don't want to forget to visit the circulation desk to check out our book. To do this, you'll need to scan your library card and then scan the barcode on your book. Don't worry if you don't remember this order the first few times. The library media specialist or media clerk are always available to help you. Once you have finished reading your book, you will need to return it to the media center for it to be checked back in and placed back on our shelves for other students to find. To do this, you simply place your book in the book return. We have now completed our tour of the Sunny Carter Elementary Media Center. Let's see if you can use what we have just learned to help answer a few questions. In which section would we find a book that is not true, also called fiction, that contains mostly pictures and very few words or text? If you said the easy section, you're correct! Okay, what is the name of the section we would find mostly chapter books that are not true or made up by the author? If you said the fiction section, you're correct! Let's try another one. What is the name of the special section located within the nonfiction or true section that contains stories of people's lives? If you said the biography section, you're correct. Finally, once you have found a book you would like to read, what must you do to take it out of the media center with you? If you said check it out, you're correct. We hope you have enjoyed your visit to the Sunny Carter Elementary School Media Center. Please come back anytime.